Hey, Brian, I just heard we might wait until day two to draft a receiver. This is a joke, right? You know we have two first-round picks. You're not even showing up to minicamp again, apparently, so why do you even care? Because we need a receiver. Yes, and that's why we brought in Sammy Watkins. We need a better receiver. Well, we did have the best receiver, but it turns out he didn't like you, so now he's gone. Oh, don't give me that. You could have figured out a way to keep him here. No, we couldn't have. Not unless we were able to somehow morph you into Derek Carr, but just know we are open to exploring every available opportunity in order to make this team better. Okay, that is GM speak. You know better than to use GM speak with someone as smart as me. Okay, you want the reality? Here it is. You are probably going to threaten to retire or demand a trade in the offseason again. If that happens and we lose you, we can tell our fan base we did everything under the sun to try to make Aaron happy and it just wasn't possible. We even tried to bring in Darren Waller. I can't believe I even have to ask this, but can you promise me you're not thinking about drafting another quarterback in the first round? Well, I can promise we're not thinking of using both first rounders on quarterbacks unless we combine them in a trade-up scenario from Malik Willis. Oh my God. Could you imagine him running all over Lambo launching missiles down the field. How awesome would that be? You realize if you traded both first rounders for Malik Willis, Packers fans would murder you. Hey, look, Bills fans didn't want Josh Allen either, right? And look how that turned out. You know, sometimes you have to do what's best for the kids regardless of how much you know they're going to cry about it. Hello, you don't need a quarterback. You already have one. Oh, yeah, like that's ever stopped us from drafting one before. <laughs> You're so crazy sometimes.